debate when I was just getting into it was the dub people versus the sub the subtitle people. There were some people who were really big dub fans and they'd watch dubbed anime and then there were the, the subtitle fans who would only ever watch subtitle anime and, and dubbed anime was, was for losers and because the, the dubbing voices were often quite bad back then and so there was a big sort of um, schism between the dub crowd and the sub crowd. Live and let live as far as I'm concerned. If you like if you like the original Japanese subtitled, God bless you. You watch it and you enjoy it. That's great. However, if you don't speak Japanese and you have, you'd like to know what the story is about and you don't like trying to read words that pop up quickly across the bottom of the screen, if you'd much rather look right into the character's face and, and, you know, and, and experience the story that way, then watch them dubbed. And, uh, and each, each of those groups should respect the other's privilege to, to like it a different way. I mean, it's, it's all anime and we all love it. And I'll tell you what, there have been, over the years when anime first started being dubbed, the dubs were kind of, tra kind of bad because they used to get people that were not actors. They used to get like radio guys and people that had real resonant voices, but they couldn't act. So the dubs were kind of not great. And people remember those days. Um, but it's not that way anymore. There are an awful lot of great dubs and good studios and good voice actors out there. And um, it is a challenge to try to, uh, to, to deliver a performance that is as powerful and believable as the original. Um, but hey, you know, if you like subtitled, Enjoy it and don't trash the people that like dubs. And if you like dubs, enjoy it and don't trash people who like the original Japanese. For me, I've, I listen, I've heard the original, I hear the original Japanese actor. When we record, they'll play me a line, they'll play me the scene and I will be hearing the Japanese actor. And I have no idea what he's saying, but it sounds cool because it's not my language. I'm sure a lot of people respond to that. They're like, man, it sounds so intense. It sounds so cool. I have no idea what he's saying. He's probably asking for a lollipop, but it sounds like he's really ready to kick some butt. That's awesome. I mean, anime is meant to be enjoyed. I developed love for subtitled anime. You know, I'd never seen it before. I'd only ever seen, you know, come on, guys, let's go. Oh, no, what's going on, Vegeta? Or whatever, you know, that sort of American stuff. And it was really interesting to suddenly move to a world where I can't understand a word of what people are saying, but the tones are different. It's really, you know, wonderful. Plus, some jokes just look better written. Some jokes are funny in subtitles. Like, whenever I hear a a child actor from another country that's not speaking English, I always think that that child actor is awesome. But I think maybe if you heard the child actor in his own, if you spoke that language, you might, you might not think the kid is as good of an actor. But you think it's just cute because you don't even know what they're saying. Because there's so much subtlety to true acting. And that's the sad part about when Japanese companies try to, to cast the voices, because all they're listening for is the quality of the voice. They're listening for, um, they're, they're just listening kind of at a macro level, whereas good directors and people who are truly into making a good show are listening to really subtle details because there's, there are plenty of people out there who have great voices but can't act. And uh, I wouldn't be able to judge whether a Japanese actor is good or not. So I would hope that they would respect the same thing. I think it's cool when they help because, um, but when they have to feel like they have the final say and they absolutely know, it's not always, it doesn't always work out the way you want it to. And that's not meant to be rude or anything like that. I've talked to people before that know Japanese, that watch Japanese anime in, in the original, and I'll say to them, aren't there bad Japanese dubs just like there are bad English? And I'm like, oh yeah, heck yes. If, you, if we knew what they were saying sometimes, I would bet that there are just as many Japanese dubs that were like, oh man, that's horrible acting, or oh, that was overdone. There are probably bad German dubs, and there are bad uh, French dubs, and bad Spanish dubs, and bad English dubs, but there are also really good ones. And the industry wouldn't be as big as it is today if they were all bad. It used to be that you would have to know someone in Japan who could tape record something for you or buy you a disc. Then you'd have to invest in the right equipment to play the disc or to play the, the tape. And 
then you'd have to dub it or sub it or uh, make it understandable in some fashion. With the internet and some of the dedicated fans that are up there, I've seen shows appear on YouTube within hours of airing in Japan. Sometimes raw, sometimes even subtitled. Usually not terribly well, but you know you can't work at that kind of speed. People have more access to to watching shows of other cultures. I think when it first started, you had to have some friend who was really into it, and you had to go to his house, and you had to have some like hacked VHS tape that was all warbly. But now, like you can watch them online practically. You can you can share the file if you have to, and I know that's a bit of a sensitive subject, but. Um, I think if it weren't for file sharing and some of these things that I, I don't know if anime would have necessarily been as popular. The good thing about fan subs is that a lot of them they are, they are very responsible and those who fan subs they usually stop once once the anime has been licensed. So I think that practice have actually has preserved the growth of the anime you know so that does justice to the producers or to the actual distributor of anime, uh, the official distributors of anime. At the same time, they actually give us sneak peek of the anime to the anime.